Hi, she's a star goddess. I'm back. Okay, so what we're going to be learning today in alchemy is very simple. It's going to be a quick video. Simple and straight to the point. Okay, so a lot of people ask me about corresponding planets and things like that. Okay, what planet should I work with? Um, you know, why do you work on certain days of the week when you do your spell work? Blah, 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 blah. Because of alchemy. Okay, so let's just say you want to work with a certain archetype or energy. For example, if you want to work with um, discipline, potential, um, contraction, you know, just like a serious energy where you, you really uh, focused and disciplined, you would work with Saturn, okay? You work with Saturn, okay? Um, and for Jupiter, you know, you would be working with expansion, freedom, um, sociability, okay? This is Thursday. Saturn's um, day, I mean, not Saturn, Jupiter's day is on a Thursday. Saturn's day is, of course, Saturday, okay? Mars, okay, if you want to work with Mars, you need to work with um, assertiveness and masculinity, you know? That's that warlike, that uh, logic. That's on a Tuesday, okay? Um, then we have Venus. Venus is receptiveness, femininity, and intuition. Um, you know, alluring. This is Friday, so that's why a lot of love spells are done on Friday because you know Venus is the goddess of love. And we have Mercury, which is um, you know transformation, androgyny, light mind. So we'd be working um, Wednesday, okay? Um, then we have the Moon, which is Monday. Purification, subconscious powers, body and soul. Um, so we would work on intuition and things like that on Monday, psychic ability. And for Sunday, of course, the sun, okay? That is basically almost everything. Um, purity, um, energy, um, protection, um, everything that the sun was symbolized, things to be revealed, um, you know, cleansings, healings, and things like that. So that is how you can use the planets, the days into your spell work and alchemy as well, okay? Um, of course, it goes to uh, it also says that, you know, for the sun, you can use it for creativity. Like if you're stuck and you can't create something because you're an artist, um, and also helps reveal your true self. So if you're looking for who you are and your purpose and things like that, meditate on a Sunday, okay? And then this book goes into the dark powers of Saturn. Okay, a lot of people have heard about Saturn, 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 okay? Uh, Saturn is, you know, it represents an, a galactic starting point in the esoteric realm, okay? Uh, the start of your journey. Okay, this is where you start from. When you start on a journey, when you start on a mission, you gotta be disciplined. You gotta be like, I have no, I know what I want. I gotta go for it. I'm disciplined. I have all this potential. Okay, so you're coming from a place of empowering yourself for a journey. Okay, um, so you're gonna start off. Okay, it's the coldest and slowest moving planet according to their information back then okay so we're just going to use what they have back then because this is what it symbolizes okay um the babylonians considered saturn the ghost of the dead sun okay so that's why a lot of people would say oh saturn used to be a sun oh saturn used to be a sun well the babylonians said that saturn is the ghost of a dead sun okay and the oldest spirit in the heavens saturn was considered the place where created matter, matter, created matter, first manifested and represented its most primitive state. And it stands for the cosmic law that limits or defines manifestation. So that's why a lot of people use Saturn as a symbolism because this is the start, okay? Um, so therefore Saturn is represented by lead and alchemy. It represents the principles of con you know contraction stability structure and materialism okay this is who you are and what you have to work with now we got to go turn you into gold okay Saturn is considered lead the Sun is considered gold and so when you go from each planet 
You're going through a phase of alchemy until you get to the sun, which is divinity, okay? Um, so if you want to go into the myths of Saturn and all that kind of stuff in the Greek and um, Greek gods and things like that, you'll understand more about what it is. Um, it goes. This book also goes into each planet. So if you want to learn about the planets um, and alchemy and the powers that it has and why it's representing this and that, you can find that in chapter 10. That is chapter 10 in this book, okay? Um, so we'll go into everything. And it will also go into... Um, how music is also representative of planets and where they are. It's, it's very interesting, okay? Um, so I wanted to focus on the planets. So for example, if, you, if, you, if you're lacking masculinity or if you need to think more logically or you need to think more, you know, cut and dry, you would work with Mars, okay? You would work with the planet Mars to get that uh, you know, some people need that masculinity because they lack it. If you lack femininity, work with Venus, work with the planet Venus on Friday. Do, you know, do rituals and things like that um, to get the feminine energy, you know. Jupiter, Jupiter is really good. It's, it's also... It's, it's nice. It's like you can use it to attract money you know things like that I, that's what I use it for it's also knowledge okay it's it's um, one of the biggest planets you know so it also represents being um, root of cheerful and energy like if you're feeling depressed work with Jupiter you know what I'm saying it also represents growth and a positive attitude. So if you're negative, work with Jupiter. If you're sad, work with Jupiter, okay? Um, if you need healing, it also represents healing and regeneration. So work with Jupiter. Um, so this book will help you to find, like if, you, if, you, if you're lacking something, if you need to work on something, what planets to use, what days to do meditations on and connect with. You can even get on youtube on your phone and look up you know the music or the sounds of jupiter or the sounds of saturn or the sounds of venus how they sound in space and meditate with that frequency and it will also help you that's what i do um so it is very powerful it works and you know once you get into that frequency sorry y'all once you get into that frequency you will start to feel different. You will start to be more in tune with the universe. Um, your intuition will increase. Your energy will increase and all that good stuff. You'll just know things sometimes. You'll feel things sometimes. And it's because you're connected with the planets, the stars, the energy. And even though like the zodiac or the, uh, your, you know, the stars do not directly influence people, they do have energies and frequencies that if you're tapped into or that you're not vibrating higher than, you could be affected. So, for example, the retrograde or, you know, this and that, the full moon. If you are familiar with how to use the planets to your advantage and knowing that you're being affected by certain frequencies, you can override them. You can say, oh, okay, that's... You know because of this you know so think above it think think higher vibrate higher than it don't let it affect you don't think it's something else when it's just this you know you know how when people take medications and they know the side effects so they don't go rush to the hospital they're like oh that's just a side effect of that medication i'm on so they don't get nervous and worried when they you know when they start having these crazy side effects they're just like oh that's just from the medicine if they didn't know the side effects of the medicine they'd be rushing to the hospital like dang you know i'm dying so Instead of being affected negatively by certain things, if you have the knowledge of, you know, what they do, the kind of feelings they bring, the vibrations they bring, you can bypass feeling a certain way 
because you know it's just the frequency of that planet and by knowing this you are able to counteract it with your thought because the stars don't control us we control the stars because if we have the knowledge of what the stars are going to do then how do how do they control us uh, we control the stars we are the collective consciousness you know universal consciousness we can control that instead of being affected by it you see what I mean so an alchemist you know arms themselves with knowledge so that when there is a retrograde when there is an eclipse when the stars are aligned in a certain fashion it doesn't affect us the same way because we can outthink it we can counteract it we can transmute that energy that frequency we can rise above it mentally because all is mental so we need to stop putting a lot of emphasis in our you know in in stars and astrology and things like that especially the negative aspects of it you know people will use that as an excuse oh my 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 moon my rising moon is in da 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 you know i can't help it you know that's who i am that's in my star you can help it okay if you choose to now if you choose to become the effect of your chart of your the planet alignment when you were born that's your problem <laughs> for an alchemist they're about creating the life that they want and changing things and to how they want them and so overriding things you know what I'm saying oh yes my rising moon is a b c and d but I don't want it. I don't want to be like that I want to be better than that so I'm gonna I'm not going to be affected by that. I'm, I, I understand my rising moon is this, but I want to be more like this. So this is what I'm going to aspire to, you know. So no matter what chart you've been given, no matter what frequency you're on, no matter what astrological sign you are, you can change your thoughts, okay? Like I said, I'm a Pisces, but some of my thinking is very unpisces like or, you know, because I changed it. I created the life I want. I created the way that I think. I created that because I didn't fall into the trap of thinking that the stars influence me. I know that I influence the stars. You know what I mean? Or I can get around the influence or the planetary influence. I also know that they're there to help me sometimes when I'm feeling a certain way. I can tap into the energy of Jupiter to feel better, you know? So if you're knowledgeable, you're not affected. You can use things to your advantage versus being, you know, affected by them. So that's why you have to learn alchemy because it gives you the power and the knowledge to use those things as you will. Okay? So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet because I know a lot of you guys don't have time to sit here and watch a long video and to just want to get in and learn, okay? So remember, you're not you're not trapped you're not your your fate isn't sealed because of your astrological sign or your birth chart you can change all that with alchemy and with thought and with mentality okay so don't use it as an excuse anymore you know i used to use it as an excuse all the time until i realized i don't have to be like this i can change it i understand who i am fully i, I understand a pisces emotional wreck dreamy living in fantasy land understand that independence and working is one of the downfalls like we don't like to do that we like the luxury but we don't like to work for it so how can I get around that how can I figure out how to get all those things that I like without you know magnifying my negative traits <laughs> fix them you know find what's negative and build upon it you know it's it's kind of like Saturn you have this base you have this potential you have all this discipline now, either you're going to stay Saturn, you're going to stay lead, or you can create gold. Okay, that's what alchemy is all about. You have the potential, but are you going to stick, you're going to stay here, or are you going to stay lead, or are you going to create yourself as gold? That is the whole point to alchemy. You have all the potential, you know what you are, you're, you know, do you stay there? Do you make excuses for it? Do you justify it? Or do you become something better? You know, it's, it's up to you. Like, nothing else can stop you but you you know what I'm saying so once we get this mentality in our minds everything else will flow easily from that point on you know um, with anything any situation you can take it and change it because it doesn't 
influence you, you influence the situation. Okay? So just remember that and try to unlearn all those things that you've learned that take your power and relearn through alchemy how to gain power back. That is what it's all about. Becoming the highest form of yourself, the best form of yourself. Perfection is what you're striving for, the perfect version of yourself. Now, nobody is perfect, but there is a better version of yourself. And if you reach it, you'll be much happier, much more successful, and have more than you ever dreamed of. Like, seriously. And you'll still be trying to improve upon that once you get there. Okay? So, I'll see y'all on the next video. Thumbs up. If y'all have any questions or comments, don't forget to put them in, you know, below. And if you know anybody that can benefit, you know, share the video. Um, everybody can benefit from knowledge. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.